George Cameron. Thank you for your hospitality. Mohawk got no coral with Les Francais. Traded furs with Les Francais. Now Les Francais bring Huron, Ottawa, Abenaki onto Mohawk land. Now Mohawk will fight Les Francais and Huron. I speak for the Twin Rivers Mohawk of the Six Nations. His Majesty King George II is very grateful for your support. How far up the valley? Up to Fort William, Henry. That's two nights and a bit from here. Should be enough to remind you all that France is our enemy. France is your enemy. What did you say? While we're at your fort, what if the French attack our homes? What then, Lieutenant? For your homes, for king, for country. That's why you men ought to join this fight. You do what you want with your own skull. Do not be telling us what we ought to do with ours. You call yourself a patriot and loyal subject to the crown? Do not call myself subject to much at all. <laughs> I agree with some of what Nathaniel and John say. But I believe England's still our sovereign. I'll go. We're going to go and fight the French. The brother and I will volunteer up. I'm with you, Jack. I'm staying on my farm. Any man who goes, his family's welcome to ford up with us till he comes back. Boys, my sense of it is, we have enough here to fill the county levy. And it's a fight we ought to make. But first, we get a guidance from General Webb. What kind? Where are you reading? We'll go to Albany. Cameron, thank you for your hospitality. Mohawk got no coral with Les Francais. Traded furs with Les Francais. Now Les Francais bring Huron, Ottawa, Abenaki onto Mohawk land. Now Mohawk will fight Les Francais and Huron. I speak for the Twin Rivers Mohawk of the Six Nations. His Majesty King George II is very grateful for your support. How far up the valley? Up to Fort William Henry. That's two nights and a bit from here. It should be enough to remind you all that France is our enemy. France is your enemy. While we're at your fort, what if the French attack our homes? What then, Lieutenant? For your homes, for king, for country. That's why you men ought to join this fight. You do what you want with your own skull. Do not be telling us what we ought to do with ours. You call yourself a patriot and loyal subject to the crown. Do not call myself subject to much at all. I agree with some of what Nathaniel and John say. But I believe England's still our sovereign. I'll go. We're going to go and fight the French. The brother and I will volunteer up. I'm with you, Jack. I'm staying on my farm. Any man who goes, his family's welcome to ford up with us till he comes back. Boys, my sense of it is we have enough here to fill the county levy. And it's a fight we ought to make. But first, we got to get terms from General Webb. What kind? Where are you reading? We'll go to Albany. Army. Yes, sir, not 
Apple out leave to defend their families and homes if the French attack the settlement. No colonial militia is going to Fort William Henry. They will report or be pressed into service. Any of the boys worth having can disappear into they the forest. They will be found. And where does that leave you? Those then? men will be found. I cannot imagine His Majesty and all his benevolence would ever object to his loyal American subjects defending their hearth and home, their women and children. Does that mean they will be granted leave to defend their homes if the settlements are attacked? Of course. You got yourself a colonial militia, General. Major Duncan Hayward reporting, sir, en route to Fort William Henry and bearing dispatches. Safe journey, I trust? Yes, and I didn't experience anything so surprising from Bristol to Albany as that that I witnessed here today. Hmm, what's that? The Crown negotiating the terms of service. I know. One has to reason with these colonials, get them to do anything. Tiring, isn't it? But that's the lay of the land. I thought British policies make the world England. Sir, 